647 on this Monday. Let's check in with Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. And Tyler, I understand growing concern from companies in B.C. with regards to the legalization of marijuana. What are they saying? Well, a big part of the issue is that, you know, re legalizing recreational marijuana, it's going to bring us some issues when it comes to workplace workplace enforcement. Uh, just think about alcohol. Uh, you have uh, no right as an employee to show up uh, to your uh, workplace intoxicated or use it at the workplace. And, and similar legislation will allow that for marijuana usage. The big difference between marijuana and alcohol, though, is that uh, there are tests to determine if somebody's intoxicated with alcohol presently. With marijuana, these are there's no reliable test for this. You could do a urine test to find out if somebody has had it sometime in the recent past. And saliva tests aren't very reliable when it comes to finding out if somebody is actually presently intoxicated. So uh, the Surrey Board of Trade is raising concerns that this is uh, not offering any solutions. The government's not offering any solutions to employers at this point. And we also have employment lawyer Jeffrey Howard tells BIV that while employers are perfectly within their rights to demand that employees show up sober, enforcing this is actually going to be kind of mm. tricky. So uh, just a lot of question marks if uh, we're going ahead with this particular plan from the federal yeah. government. Yeah, certainly yeah. a lot to work out there. Uh, quickly, just want to mention Uber uh, operating at a pretty big loss. Yeah, we just found out over the weekend, uh, based on a report initially from Bloomberg, uh, that Uber finally opened up its books to the public. And we find out that they're operating a loss of $2.8 billion U.S., based on revenue of $6.5 billion. This is notable because, look, it's still an early stage company, the way you look at it. It may be worth $68 billion U.S., but at this point, they're trying to establish marketplace dominance. You recall that video with CEO Trevor Kalanick in which he was arguing with a driver over about the rates that drivers get. Essentially, Uber's uh, paying people uh, below than uh, what it takes to operate the company. And this is so that they can establish marketplace dominance, beat out the other competitors. The thing to emphasize here is that uh, I, I would not expect rates if you go to other cities to stay where they are in the years to come if and when Uber does establish this dominance here. All right. Uh, certainly a good warning there, Tyler. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Sonia.